Good morning. Today is the day that we travel to America. Well, I say today is the day we travel to America. Today is the day that we travel to the airport to travel to America. This will be the travel with us video. We are heading up to Heathrow today. We're going to stay overnight in a hotel and then we are going to take our flight later on today. So we're just going to take you with us all the way to Las Vegas and then I'm going to continue with the vlogs throughout Las Vegas and the American road trip that we're going on. I really hope you enjoy traveling with us today. This is our hotel room. We have arrived after what I can only say is the worst travel day of my life. Never again. Just next time, just taxi from the boat. And uh, it's just, well, I'll explain it in a minute. This is our room, which is really nice. Just our airport hotel room. But we have booked quite a nice special room just because we both love plane spotting. So this one has the actual runway right outside so we can watch them come and go. It's got coffee machine stuff here. And in here, we have a bedroom, which is separate, which is nice. Oh, that is annoying. Oh my God. Yeah, that's us so we can change rooms. We've paid for... <laughs> for yeah. No. Yeah, I think that's bad, that. It says that you've got two views out, you know, it says you've got views out the bedroom and lounge window. And we've got half a view out of one of them. Um, and then this is the bathroom, which is lovely. I mean, everything's really nice. Look at that bath. Wow, that's amazing. But I think we can go and ask if we can change rooms because we've paid a fair bit of money for this and I am not happy about that as a runway view. No. Right, well, that didn't go well. I um, went downstairs to say the room is not really what it should be. And I really don't think it is. Like, I'll just show you guys what I mean. So you've got this room here, the lounge, and then obviously we've got half the hotel brick wall there. And then like I showed you earlier, same in here, but this is literally, I mean, I'd rather have an, a normal view than that. I mean, what is that? We are staying at the Renaissance in Heathrow, at Heathrow. And I researched this hotel a lot. Where we both like plane spotting, we booked this sort of special and it was expensive. We could have booked any other hotel in the airport. And, and actually you have to get on a bus to get to this one as well. So it's even more inconvenient, but we thought it'd be special. And I just can't get over that brick wall. And she's saying, she, I went down there and she said, we, you, you've booked a suite and you've got a suite. And I said, but the suite, a big thing, big selling point on the description is the views and you've given me half a view and I said there should be some suites that are described as partial views and some that are described as full views and then you know you'd happily pay more for a better view and less for a blocked view but no she said you booked a suite and you've got a suite and I was like well I'm not happy with it but she said the hotel's fully booked so they can't move us um, and then I was like well what, what are you going to do then I'd rather just move to another room and get a refund and pay for the other room, which will be 100 quid or something. This was like 250 pounds for the night. She was like, no, we can't do that because you booked through Expedia. And then she basically started saying, all because I booked through Expedia, it was like, we can't help you, we can't help you. But surely you still deserve some kind of customer service from the hotel, considering that you've, you know, booked the hotel room and you've paid it and they are getting money from you. I get it that you don't get as many perks when you book through a third party, but she's literally saying, because you book for Expedia, there's nothing I can do for you. So I'm just really annoyed now and frustrated with this. She has offered me, first of all, she said, oh, we can give you 10% off dinner. Well, we were like, are we even gonna have dinner here anyway? I don't wanna put any more money in their pockets. <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, and then I was like, well, 10% off dinner, that's what you can offer me. And then she then, and I said, is that the best you can offer? I said, I'd rather just put in a formal complaint. And then she said, I can offer you 20% off dinner. And I was like, at that point I was getting, you know, when you just start getting really irritated and you're just thinking, we've had such a stressful day anyway, this whole day has just not gone to plan. Every single thing we've got on, the ferry was canceled. Then we had to run to another ferry. 
then um, there was no taxis to pick us up from the ferry because um, there was I think there's something going on in Southampton so basically we were ordering Ubers and they were just not turning up so then we had to run to the coach station so we ran there in the rain and then we got to the coach station and the coach was an hour late stuck in traffic so we've been traveling all day and then i was so excited for you know it's all worth it we'll get here to the beautiful hotel but we're here now. yeah but ollie it's annoying I, stuff Chill. like this this is my trigger i Chill. just do not like it you know when you've got something and it's not as described that is my trigger it really bugs me oh has one just come in no <sighs> why has today just been like that i'm just like fuming I need a drink. We do get access to a lounge with this room, so what are you doing? Oh, it's a bit dark. Oh. We do get access to a lounge with this room, so again, have a look at that. But honestly, guys, I was going to kind of do a whole room tour of this and a, a bit of a hotel tour, and oh, there's a plane coming in. And I was going to, you know, kind of... I Because I thought the hotel would be great, but... Do you want to, it's disappointing the room and then I feel like the customer service, even though she was nice and friendly enough, what she could offer me I do not think is worth it, you know? Because considering the person next door to us who's paid probably the same money has two full views. It anyway. It doesn't get that wall. Yeah, I know. It's not, and it's not even... If this wasn't even blocked, I'd feel a bit better, but this is blocked as well. So you can't even see the... So the planes are coming into land, but you can't see them land because... There's a frickin' wall there. Frickin' wall. <laughs> <laughs> frickin' laser beams. <laughs> What's that from? Austin Powers. <laughs> well, back in our room now. We're... I realised that my last clip was quite miserable and Ollie was like, you know that people are going to be like, you're going on holiday, you should just be happy. So I feel like I've come back on a bit happier. I mean, I've had a couple of glasses of wine now because included in this room, which is a really good positive, you get access to the lounge, which is actually next door to this room. And in the lounge, you get some food. I did include a little clip of it. Some kind of little canapé food things and then unlimited wine and beer. Um, so I've just had a couple of glasses of red wine, which was really nice wine, and Ollie's had some beers. And we're back in the room now, but we've literally got about one minute, and then we're going to go down for our dinner. But I have to say, in the lounge, the, I don't know what they call it, the executive lounge or something, you know, something like that. The staff, really, really lovely people in there. So we've just had a really good experience. And considering the clientele, I said to Ollie, I don't know what's worse with this hotel. The customer service that I received downstairs, or the clientele that stay here. You're on one today, aren't you? <laughs> I'm moaning again now. I don't know why I was so... No, but they're so rude. I'll leave you here. Not no, like literally, we were sat, just like sat at our table, and we are watching the other people around us sat at their tables, and people were literally going like this on their glass, and holding it up to the waiter to like refill their glass. Me and Ollie are like, sat there going, please, please. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. What? Why is everyone being so rude? I mean, I'd rather not go to an executive lounge if that's what it's full of. That's just not my vibe. Anyway, we are going to go for dinner now. <laughs> Ready for bed? He's sleepy. Ollie only got two hours sleep last night. He didn't sleep very well at all. Mm. It's only about 10 o'clock now, but we're going to try and get an early night and get up early. Enjoying the view, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> the runway view. I didn't go to sleep till about 12. What time did you go to sleep, Ollie? Uh, you, you, yeah, Ollie went off really early because I can't remember if I said Ollie had only had like two hours sleep um, yesterday. So yeah, he managed to get straight off sleep, plane just taken off. And last night, the planes were landing on this 
runway bit here and this morning they're taking off but unfortunately you, ca you can only see them kind of speeding up down the runway you can't see them taking off because we have this big block in the way but oh we've got a wall in the way This whole video is basically wall gate, hotel gate, <laughs> runway view gate. I don't know. Anyway, today is a new day and we're up. I mean, we got up about, Ollie got up about half seven. I got up about eight. Um, but we're not going to leave the room till about half ten. I mean, to be honest, our flight's not until five o'clock this afternoon, but Ollie loves to get to places very early. That's one of the careers. Yeah, like no, I don't mind that. I quite like the airport, Jay. Yeah. yeah, I enjoy looking around the shops. And, and I did mention in my Pack With Me video that we are flying business class. So that means that we do have a really nice lounge that we can go to. So you kind of want to make the most of looking around the shops and spending a few hours in the lounge. So you actually make the most of that as well. And also, I think we can visit different lounges. I don't know if we'll do that, but you can go in several different ones so we might have a look around the different lounges and stuff but yeah so i'm really excited to get into the airport have a look around the shops show you guys our seat when we get on the plane later the weather is perfect i feel like this is like the perfect flying weather oh yeah so we got a message last night because we where we because basically with our business class seats i did mention this in a previous video but we haven't actually paid for our seats which is um lovely we have had to pay the taxes and fees but because we use the american express card and we've built up points over the last couple of years we have got these flights for completely free apart from the fees i mentioned and the fees have actually cost what were the fees ollie that was £900. yeah the fees were 900 pounds i mean it's expensive just for the fees but the flight if we were to book this flight that we're getting on now how much was it per person ollie uh when you when checked, I, when I checked before we booked it, it was about 6,000. Per person? I uh, know, for, for both, but now, when I checked a couple of weeks ago, I think it's gone to about 20,000. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's just because it's last minute, isn't it? Well, let's say 3,000 per person. So, obviously, we're paying 450 per person, but the actual flight cost would have been 3,000 per person plus your taxes and fees. So, yeah, it's an amazing deal to use the American Express. If anyone's interested, another plane going just a little one if anyone's interested though when we get back we can do a video if you want talking about the American Express card I don't know that much about it Ollie's done loads of research in it and he's managed to kind of sort all this out for us because it even though it's amazing it's not easy and it's very complicated so um yeah Ollie's the mastermind behind that but anyway um why was I what was I getting into hmm? what did you you I was gonna, you said to talk about something and then I've lost the story. Oh, the seat. Oh yeah, so because you, we, I think because we, we've got points with British Airways, it means that a week before our flight, we're allowed to choose our seats for free. Like yeah, it's like a status thing. I mean, BA is probably the only airline that actually charges you to choose your business class seat anyway. I mean, you'd think that when you've paid that much money, you'd be able to choose your seat, but no, you. Oh, that's a bit too much contour. You have to pay extra. Um, but anyway, so because of our status, you get to choose your seats for free up to a week before you travel. So we chose our seats. Um, we wanted ones that were... I like being near the toilet. I think a lot of people try not to be near the toilet, but I like being near the toilet because then when it's free, you can literally just nip out your seat and go to the loo. Um, I also hate... I'm, I'm, not a great I'm not a great flyer. I'm quite nervous. And I also hate being out of my seat without my seatbelt on. So the the longer I'm out of my seat, the more anxious I'll get. So I like to just be able to nip to the loo and get back to my seat. Anyway, so we chose these seats that were basically, there was no one behind us, so it's the wall of the toilet, which we're really happy with. And we were going for the two middle ones. So it's kind of like, almost like a little mini suite in the middle, which we're excited to see. Anyway, then we got an email yesterday saying they've changed our seats because my seat is broken which happens a lot on planes, I think. The business class seats break. Anyway, so then we were like, right, okay, that's annoying, it's like we'd chosen the ones we wanted. Um, and then we got another email this morning to say, actually, um, it's not broken, or the engineers have fixed it, I think. But I'm gonna, as soon as I get on the plane, I am gonna make sure that it isn't broken, because, you know, obviously, if you're going business class, 
the whole thing about it is the fact that you've got a bed that you can sleep in so if that doesn't work that's not great is it so yeah i'm going to check that as soon as we get on yeah, um be another video about that then the walls the <laughs> seat i should have just done a series like rosie complains about everything yeah. Serial complainer. we did have a particularly bad day yesterday though didn't we with the journey yeah, and hopefully, and hopefully we'll have bad luck gone now. yeah today does feel like a good day but it it was it's kind of like you know when things build up so the day was just getting worse and worse and worse and every single thing we tried to do was going wrong and in my head I just thought well it's okay because we're, we're just going to get to this amazing hotel room and that was why I think I was just very very disappointed is because I built this whole thing up in my head anyway I am going to email them though and then um, just like complain and I just I, I just feel like I'm not going to go into it now it's too much right we'll see you at the airport <laughs> that's taken off or so it's just landed. Lounge number two. I'm gonna see what this one's like. We've already been in the BA lounge and now we're gonna try out the how do you say it? Cafe Cafe Pacific. Cafe 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 This one's cool, it actually has chefs here making food. We just sat at this table and we can see what happens because we're not quite sure what happens. Okay, we'll show you that one next. Ooh, it's a bar. And I think we've got to go upstairs. No, oh, thank you very much. Oh, this one looks fancy actually. Don't know what. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Nice. Okay, this is giving like cozy vibes, autumn vibes. Look at the panelling. It's really quiet up here as well. I think this one's supposed to be good for the cocktails. I'm gonna get the lychee jasmine mojito, I think. Where are you going? Um, are you gonna get a cocktail? Summer departure. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say that. Cheers. What's that passion? Oh, that passion. Mm. I'm sure it's got in it. Vodka, lime juice, yellow chartreuse, passion fruit juice. Oh, that's nice. Is it good? Sweet. No try it then. Alright, fingers. Do you watch it as a kid? Yeah, I love fingers. That's good, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Which one do you prefer? Yeah. I do like the sweet one. That's light cheese. Who? It's actually got fresh light cheese in it. 
Hello? What's going on? Light chain. Sorry. What's that fruit? Can I? Comfy? <laughs> What's on the menu today? It's cute how we can see each other through this little thing, but it's not really very. Oh, rude. <laughs> It's not really very intimate because you've got this massive thing in between you and Ollie's got one on his side. So you're not actually really together.
Bar Restore Moisturiser. We also have a Luxury Lip Balm and some earplugs. And just a little card for you to So that is everything that you get in here. I am going to use this now. So that would be perfect for my sleep. We have arrived at our hotel room and it is absolutely amazing. This was a new hotel when we booked it so we weren't quite sure how it was all going to turn out but beautiful look at this bathroom. Huge sink, toilet there, massive shower here, toiletries in there. Look at this bath. Oh my goodness. Why? Oh, light's gone off. When we walked in, all the lights came on and the curtains opened when we walked in the room. But they've gone off now. Let's see this. Oh, there we go. All on. Oh my god, I even have a night light. I love stuff like that because lighting for me is a big thing. Huge mirror here. And then this is our lovely bed. We've got some nice artwork on the wall. We've got a seating area. Huge TV. Wardrobe. This wardrobe. Oh my god, this is massive. Oh, we've got dressing gowns. <gasps> we've only got one though, that's mine. That is a nice dressing gown as well. Slippers. What's that? Oh, you have got one. Yeah. I was just I just saw the other one in there. Yeah, like plush layer. yeah. They're like cotton on the outside and then vel velour on the inside. And then I just think the best thing about this room, because we didn't actually book a room with a view, because you could like pay extra but she has given us a strip view. So let me just get up close so you don't see my reflection, hopefully. We have an amazing strip view and we can see the sphere as well, which is so cool. This is a really, really good view. Um, this hotel is actually very far down the strip. So we're right down the other end of it. Whereas last time we stayed much more in the middle, but halfway through our trip, we are moving to another hotel further up the strip, but we've got five nights here and then we're gonna have four nights in the palazzo which is a bit further up very happy to be here we did have drama in the um turn that off, so. we did have drama at the airport because of course this travel vlog i feel like it's just been filled with just dramaticness do you know what i mean it just hasn't gone smoothly so the flight was all right neither of us slept very well because it was quite it was bumpy all the way and i felt like as soon as i was trying to go to sleep it just started bumping and, and I just get so anxious and I start to actually physically shake, which is, I don't know why I just, I don't know, because turbulence is so normal, but it does get to me. And it gets to Ollie as well. So I look over at Ollie and he's laying there like that. So yeah, we have any sleep, but it's fine because it's eight o'clock. Well, it's probably about nine o'clock now here in Las Vegas. So we can actually just go to bed, which is nice. But yeah, we got to the custom. Is it customs, Ollie? Yeah. border control isn't border it control, yeah. and they said um have you got any money with you and we have bought cash but the limit here is you if you bring over ten thousand dollars of cash you have to declare it well we didn't bring obviously we didn't bring over ten thousand dollars of cash um so we didn't declare anything but we have got quite a lot of cash with us because we we prefer to just change all of our money up for cash and use that for the whole trip so then we can budget better. Um, so we did have like a fair amount of cash with us and he said how much cash you got but I think because we were both 
well, we knew what we'd exchanged from pounds, but we didn't know exactly what it was in dollars. And I think because we didn't know how much cash we had exactly, we just looked really dodgy. And then he was like, um, okay, we're gonna uh, have to get you to go with the other man. And we were like, what? <laughs> and then he said, just wait over there. And then this officer man came and escorted us to the customs room, the border control room. And then we had to then see another guy who then we had to open up our cases and show our money and talk about what we were doing. And then at the same time, they pulled someone else um, for some for some reason, which we don't know what, but he was in the same room as us. But the other guy that was there was getting really, well, he was really angry that he'd been pulled for whatever he'd been pulled for. We didn't really care because we haven't done anything wrong. We know we followed all the rules. So we've obviously just got to show what we've got and explain it and then like what happened and then they said it's all good to go but it is quite nerve-wracking but yeah the other guy that was there he was proper shouting at the officers and just was so angry that he'd been taken to the side um just don't really know what happened with him in the end but it made us really anxious we were like thinking oh my god this is scary just just get us sorted and get us out of the airport because it was actually quite scary he was, he was very angry Anyway, <laughs> that was another dramatic story to add to this video, but we have arrived in Las Vegas and from now on all of the vlogs will be whatever we get up to in Las Vegas and on our road trip. So I really hope you enjoy spending the holiday with us. I hope you've enjoyed this travel vlog. Sorry it's not been the most positive travel vlog, but you can always rely that my vlogs will be very honest about what's happening and my feelings and stuff. So we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!